all right so we're here back on mastermind number five what's up everyone let's go man <laughs> number five we're gonna late though on this one but yeah we're here we're here we're doing it and yeah. uh so this last week uh i was away for that snowboarding trip and i couldn't make it on uh saturday f sunday or monday because that's it was a long trip so right. you know we're just picking off where we left off and uh we got some things we'd like to talk about um do you want to talk about like your main hustle uh i guess your main job how's how's the job search going um if you can go first um i'll build something up real quick okay so i have the agenda down here it's uh mastermind meet five short week we're talking about main hustle basically um i still have that you know job that i i got before i went on the trip uh long story short i don't think i told anybody about this have i yeah because i've told like my friends and family but i think you guys are the first to actually know it here on the youtube channel um basically i got an opportunity to work here in austin as a web applications developer so really exciting news um great benefits good company and there's a company review in a couple months so um salary should go up um i'm going to make a separate video for all this because it's yeah. it's a lot of detail <laughs> and yeah. i've already told you so um as far as that goes i'm just reading the handbook you know, like they send you all the documents for taxes, um, the rules, security, all that kind of thing. So I've been right. reading through that, you know, signing off and sending it back to them. I have a start date, but I don't know when I'm actually coming in yet. So it's going to be about a, a little bit over a week from now is when I start the new place. And as far as anything else, you know, like job search, you know, I don't have to do that anymore. I actually went back or I will go back tomorrow or maybe tonight to update all my uh, online accounts so to let people know that i'm not looking for a job anymore right now because i literally just got in right you know so like linkedin right. yeah. angel list um some of the other ones like hired uh vetery all that stuff so i'm going to go back and turn those off so people don't spam me as much maybe right. down the line like uh, a couple months from now not, not a couple months like a year from now or so i'll turn it back on just to um, just to see what what kind of offers I'm getting because it never hurts to keep an open eye out, right? Yes. Right, right. So that's as much as my main hustle goes. Like, you know, that's my bread and butter. That's how I'm going to be making money for the next uh, year or two. And then um, I'll talk about the side stuff later, but that's kind of what I'm go it's going on right now with me. Um, what's going on on your end? Yes, yeah, so on my end, um, I haven't gone on any on-site interviews um, for like this week, I guess. Yeah. But um, I finally heard back from a company, so like they sent me email, like replying back up the position. Like uh, I think the last thing I said was my friend Dave, um, Dave's friend. Sorry. His company, um, yeah, they finally reached back to me. So all I had to do for them was to send out a cover letter, like saying why well, I think I'm a good fit for the position or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and then explaining like why pick me, basically. Mm. And so I sent that out that same day. I got the email, and then what else did I do? Then. Um, Oh, then I heard, I applied to Unity, the um, people that make the game engine. Oh yeah. So, but it's like I um I was asking Dave and Jan like for people that they know that work anywhere in tech, but when I told Jan that I applied to this position, I was just like telling him like I'm I'm not wait, waiting, like I'm not um to hear back to me the same day the, the day I apply so mm -hmm. he's like yeah let's set up let's set up a a video conference whatever mm -hmm. so we're gonna do that this Wednesday so because I need a quiet place I booked the room at the library right right yeah okay so, so you got this unity thing and then you got this other company 
um, kind of in in the works. Yes, and then another company they're called Active Prospect or something. Oh, okay. And they sent me. Um, it was. I don't want to say. I mean, it was a combination of like a take home assignment, like mm-hmm. coding stuff, and then like uh, how do I explain it? Coding and then some questions. Like logic, or yeah, I mean, this was. I mostly had knowledge. to do something with it. No, no, it was just. It's, uh, I wish I took a screenshot, but it was basically <laughs> they had me messing around with an API they use. Okay. So even, they sent me this like JSON. One of the tricky things was this JSON uh, object that you sent me. It was all messed up. So they were like, yeah, fix all the errors. And then, so all I did was I put the code, the JSON object on the VS Code. And like you know, when everything's like funky, it'll give you an error. Like if there's a semicolon missing, it will tell you it's. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was able to fix it pretty easy with that. And then, well, this what else did I do? Oh yeah, and the formatting, like how it looked. So I just hit save because I got Preview installed, um, IDE. So mm-hmm. I hit save and it fixed everything. So I put I pasted that into the text area on the test or whatever. And then the last thing I had to do that was kind of tricky. It took me like probably thirty minutes to finish, but it was pretty simple at the end because I thought, "Oh damn!" Now I had to do some actual coding. <laughs> but basically, all, all I had to do was do a get no a post request to this API. Yeah. And then just ask for like some specific data, like first name, last name, address, email. And then the API will return like this unique ID. So that you that the the thing they wanted was a unique ID because anytime you request something from this API, the ID will change. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think I got it right. So I, I pasted that to it in an input area on the on the test, and um, that was it for that test. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so was it difficult? No, it was not difficult. I mean, I thought, I mean, uh, when I saw like take home test or whatever, I was like, holy, but it was not difficult to be honest. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. And hopefully uh, you get an on site pretty soon later this week. Yeah. So, and then I met up with uh, a person from Motive and we went to Prospanic. Mm-hmm. Um, we met up yesterday. And um, and that was pretty good. I mean, she already sent out my info to people she knows. Yeah. So. So, but I only got those like three leads. Okay. I'm hoping I get one of those. Okay. So three, yeah, three things on the pipeline. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This person also reached out to me as well. I told her like I was out of town until uh, this coming week here because I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> I didn't have time really. Um, right, and also uh, my folks are coming in next week, so be pretty tied up. I'm gonna try to do as best as I can. Um, how is your, I guess, learning going? Learning process for coding. So, um, are you still doing fem course, or uh, what yeah, are you I'm, doing I'm, now? Yeah, I'm still doing fem. I haven't done anything inside of fem, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. So fem is a front end masters for people who haven't been following um yes. i've just been keeping with kyle simpson's course and it's drastically long it's like 10 freaking hours of content and i think i have about three or four more modules left until i finish right i've learned so much but it's like very nuanced it's like super deep javascript stuff like i don't even know if i'll remember all this after i've gone through it but at least i know that's there i can always look back into it um, do you have anything else you want to mention for your main hustle? Or you want to jump in the side project? Um, I guess I should have mentioned like when you said uh, the, about the fam for people that don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're a student, you get six months for free. All right. With the GitHub student pack, you just need a student email. That's it. All right, and we have a mutual friend, and I think uh, she didn't know about it either. So hopefully, she gets yeah. on there and uh, learns some more. Uh, coding skills, JavaScript. Not that she's not that bad, but um, there's always room to learn. <laughs> yeah, always. Yeah. Um, as far as side projects go, I just want to jump real quick into the blog JS web, uh, the blog Next JS website that I'm doing. 
I've worked on the gear section and the resources section. So I think the only thing left is just getting all those Amazon links and those pictures uploaded. And then the basically the travel dev website will be back up and running like a newer, better version. Um, as far as different other side hustles about making money, I'm not even worried about that right now. I'm just going to try to keep at my main hustle, keep make that money come in normally. And then once I have a little bit of cash capital, I do have some ideas that I'm going to try to play out here, but um, just going to try to finish my blog uh, right now because um, it's a representation of me. And I think in the future, it can connect me to different people. So that's why I, I kind of want to try to finish it. Um, how is your uh, music project going and, uh, you know, your portfolio website, all, all that thing? Yes. So <laughs> for side projects, I do have some couple things on my mind that I still need to do so I'm almost done with my portfolio mm -hmm. then uh, hold on give me a second here All right. yeah so in uh, some previous mastermind um, Juan was talking about some of his uh, music side project and he's building just like a music portfolio so that people can um, just check out his music so he makes music from his instrumentals um, guitar, uh, sometimes beats and synth stuff, and I'm I'm just kind of giving content here. If Juan wants to jump back in, he's welcome to. Um, it's probably loud where he's at. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, that's the only issue. But um, I was gonna say, yeah, the music stuff, uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, I made a beat uh, a couple of days ago, so I'm trying to finish that one. I think I sent you the link to like you, you did, can yeah. listen to it. Yeah. And um, what else? Is it too noisy here? No, it's fine. Can you hear I, don't the noise? Hear. Fine. I can hear you fine. Okay, cool. I'll just stay here then because it was kind of noisy on the other side. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then for coding projects, I'm almost done with my portfolio. Uh, and then I do want to launch a blog. Well, it's not really a blog, it's more like a gallery for my mm -hmm. film uh, pictures. So, I'm still trying to get that done though. But, um, but yeah, I did get that beat going for my music stuff. So, that's good. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Uh, I can use that one on my uh, second job offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, um, I'll finish it before, I guess, just let me know when you're going to do the video and then I'll. Yeah, I'll or I can use an old style. one. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, do you have any other side projects you want to mention? Um, none yet. None yet. Yeah, that's all I got too. Um, we'll jump up to over to finances real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, I want to touch on this topic because there's a lot of people that mm, just talk about code and stuff, but the job itself. But, you know, like at the end of the day, your job brings you money. So you need to be smart with your money. And uh, I was just looking back at my credit cards and just to see if it still aligns with what I'm doing financially. And so I called up uh, Chase to confirm about my Sapphire Reserve card. Basically, this card, uh, it gets you a lot of points, but it's also pretty hefty in terms of fees. So like they increased it from 450 to 550 recently. So I had to go back and see, okay, is this still worth my time? Um, long story short, I'm going to actually switch over to Chase Sapphire Preferred, which is only $95 annual fee versus this new 550 And my card actually ends in September, so I'm going to try to cancel it here in August. As far as the, that's, that's my strategy for earning points for traveling, because you guys know I love traveling. So that's kind of, I'm still keeping with that strategy. The other side of the strategy is earning cash back. So basically, I use Capital One Quicksilver, or I have a Chase Freedom Unlimited card, also cashback. The only difference is that one is has no foreign tra transaction fees, and that's kind of why I have two of them right now. But at some point in the future, maybe I'll, I'll scale them back to only ones that I need. I don't like to carry too many cards, but it's, it's also good to have uh, multiple because if you're traveling, you lose one. You still have another one that's backup in a sense. So always good to have, you know, <laughs> shit, shit happens basically. Um, so it's good to have a backup. 
as far as other finances go um again i'm not pulling in regular money yet so i'm kind of just waiting until this job kicks in kind of seeing how much i pull in and how much i should owe to lambda school how much to owe to um taxes and how much to put into savings and investments and all that stuff um yeah that's kind of like my little touch on my finances um can you tell me more about what's going on in your finances one yeah so my finance is like uh, i don't i mean i do get some i guess partial income from the part-time stuff i do on the side mm-hmm. so that's holding me up okay but um yeah i mean this week i was kind of bad so i did spend money <laughs> eating out getting coffee and like last night i went out with people from my airbnb but I, i'm surprised i didn't spend that much last night mm. so that's the good thing but but this week i'm gonna be more strict about this stuff though because <laughs> it is kind of expensive here it is and um uh, yeah plus coffee i'm just gonna drink coffee back here because even though i need it I, I i can't be spending like three like last time we went to a lab i spent five bucks on this like small cup yeah yeah i remember that man <laughs> yeah that hurts that hurts uh, but yeah for the, my credit cards i always just gave just one to be honest and, and it's the only one i have it's a american express one mm-hmm. uh, i don't know which one it is it's just a transparent card mm. i have but that's under my dad's um account or whatever but it's my name like it has my name on it yeah but but yeah i don't have to worry about the fee because he pays the fee like it's 95 bucks or something oh a a year so and uh yeah i carry that one but i usually try to just use it like if i if i need to use like um i used it a couple times in mexico uh, because there's a transaction fee it's very low it's like a couple cents I, I forget what it is but it's very low okay. um yeah but uh here i i used to last night just because but i still need to pay like the whole balance out but i'm gonna do that like once i land something solid because i can't pay the whole amount right, right now <laughs> so um but yeah and then the other thing i was trying to get to uh was the apple card Oh. I, I don't know if you've seen one. No, not if yet. You've seen that one. It, it's pretty good. I mean, some of my friends have it, like Jan. Um, he has it, and then I'm trying to get it just to take advantage of the cash back um, mm. they give. So usually you get like three percent cash back on like Apple stuff mm-hmm. if you buy it at Apple. So like at one point I'm gonna try to like upgrade my MacBook, like trade in my MacBook, and then get a new one, but buy it with their card so I can get the cash back. And then get the trading uh, cash for this thing. Yeah, I feel so, like we should do a whole separate video on this finance stuff because just looking at everybody's spending habits, they're they're a little bit different. So you need to tailor your strategy in a way that you know uh, get the uh, maximum bang for your buck, essentially. Yeah. Plus, yeah, I guess it will be a good, I guess, topic just people like that. So yeah. Um, well, this week I, I can't spend that much. <laughs> I'm setting aside some money just in case, but I can eat out of this week. So yeah, all, all the more reason to get a job quickly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's jump into the last topic here. Uh, just meetups. Um, I just want to mention that uh, I went to the Hangar Lounge here in Austin it was uh it was a meetup for all kinds of professionals from different fields I didn't come there with the intention to find a job it was more just to socialize and to uh I went with my my uh our mutual friend and uh it was just kind of spur of the moment too and right, uh, you yeah. know never hurts to network with people I actually got a business card from a guy that runs a freelance company that you know maybe I could potentially try in the future but I don't have any interest right now um I do just hold on to these cards and go to these meetups just to make new friends. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I did go to a couple of meetups. Yeah. Like the weekend you were gone. This is the past weekend. Oh, right. I did go to indie web camp, uh, beat up or conference. If you want to call it, it was basically two days. 
Mm-hmm. But I only went the first day. It was mostly talks about the indie web. I don't know. The, it's kind of hard to explain like what the indie web is. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, basically, what 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 I got from it, it like making. I guess software or websites for people to like own their content and get away from like Facebook or Twitter stuff like that. Yeah. So like make your own blogs. It, it, when, <laughs> when you make your own blog from scratch, it's, everything's yours. So that was a cool meetup. And then where else did I go? Can remember. Yeah, we went to the hangar launch networking thing. Mm-hmm. I was not. Like you told me the same day it was happening, so I'm like, oh damn, uh, I got some stuff going on today, but I guess I'll make it. So, um, so that was fun, and then yeah, I think those are the only meetups I went this week. Cool. Yeah, I mean, and the Hispanic meetup, yeah, I think you didn't go. Oh, right? Monday, yeah, right? You, you didn't go. Yeah, that was Monday. So I went to the Hispanic meetup. I got to meet the people, even though. I know a lot of people were expecting that, like the nomad, nomad talk. We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So some people were talking to me like, "How did you do it?" So I think that will be a good to like do. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, set that up too. Um, yeah. What was the meetup about on Monday at Pro uh, at uh, Hispanic Hackers? So know? that was about Docker. Like, what is Docker? That was basically it. And and uh, this guy, Argentinian, was explaining what it is. And it was a pretty good uh, presentation. Like he had some demos he was doing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, you got anything else you want to mention? Um. Not not until next time, dude. I mean, hopefully <laughs> by next time I hope to bring like good news that like, uh, like I get a job or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think we'll meet up uh, Sunday, this coming sun next coming Sunday. And yeah. uh yeah, just see how it goes this week. Sounds good, man. Cool. Peace out. Uh catch you later. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right.